Hello, everybody! Hey, guys! Uh, we're back with episode 12 of Shit's Creek. Yes, next to last episode in season one. We yeah. are moving right along season on this one's show. starting to wind down a little bit. Uh, we've got a couple of comments lately that said the sh that each season gets progressively better, and I loved first season, <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. I really, I'm really very curious to see where they're headed, actually. Yeah, if it, I mean, if, it, it, like, if the show gets that much stronger, it's like, uh, <laughs> they must really work some stuff out here. <laughs> we mentioned it in a, a previous video where I mentioned it... Uh, whether or not they're going to stay in the hotel the entire time. Right. They probably are. I mean, it's kind of... I think that would be funnier if they do stay in the hotel the entire time. They have to, right? I can't really imagine them setting up shops somewhere else right at this point. I don't think the show works if they, you know, get rich again. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe out of the hotel into, yeah. a, into a smaller house, but I think them like being there... Or I just think the being them, them being in that motel that they own is yeah. funny. You know I, what I mean? It's almost like the set itself is kind of... Um, a character on the show, you know. Right. I, I love seeing more of his wings on the wall. I yeah, like how they're I, separated by a bedroom door. Right. You know? I mean, you can have all kinds of character growth and everything as they go through the show without having to <laughs> to lose the charm of being in that bad motel. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there with Stevie, which I I really like. And none of them are really like they don't really have a solid source of income right now at this point. So. Yeah. Not not even a little bit. <laughs> no. I, I'm wondering if they do at any point during the yeah. show. <laughs> um, but uh, at any rate, uh, thank you for coming back with us. I uh, really liked the last episode a lot. Oh, yeah. The biggest thing for me was Twyla and Mutt breaking up and Alexis being so supportive of supportive and, and aware of the problems that Twyla was going to go through with this and really yep. helping her out, which seemed out of character thus far for for uh, Alexis because, you know, I, I've, I've always liked her. I've always rooted for her. I think she's a yep. great character. And the performance by <clears throat> Andy Murphy, Andy Murphy, yeah, is, is fantastic. Um, but... Man, seeing her really take those steps as far as like she's been kind of the most selfish or yeah, self centered person for sure. Um, early on, like they all are to an extent. What's funny is they're all kind of really she self absorbed. Was, she was definitely the most self absorbed. She's the one who had the farthest yeah. to go, I, I would say. Um, especially like you know, how, how she was blatantly flirting with Mutt while not taking anyone else's feelings into consideration until she could see that she was actually gonna hurt, it was actually gonna hurt somebody else. Let's see, I mean, because obviously they're gonna be on their little uh community service right trip yeah now that now that they're both well they're not single she's dating ted but now that oh, um, yeah. but now that mutt's single let's see if if his behavior changes at all it now didn't that really seem to matter to her that she was dating ted before so i want to see if the flirting I, I continues know. or if she does draw a line at this point if it takes him leaving twyla to be like all right i'm not gonna do this anymore I'm not right about it and, and and i think that would be a, a, an interesting choice simply because I think about when I, you know, and I'm obviously not dating either one of them, but if <laughs> I, if in her shoes between Ted and Mutt, I yeah. think Ted's the better person. He's a nice guy. Uh, he definitely has his flaws too. He's got flaws. He's a little jealous. I, yeah. I feel like he's definitely better suited for someone like Twyla. I don't really think they have a similar, him and Alexis don't really, they're not really the same person. I, mean, I get opposite the track, but right. we'll see where they're going. And, and, and let's be honest, just because it's a sitcom, we are assuming relationships across the board. <laughs> it, it turns out in the real world, you don't have Things to be don't in a work relationship. This way. Yeah. Well, yeah, you don't have to be in a relationship to be a person. Yeah. So who dates who next really might not be a thing at all. Yeah, you know what I mean? The only reason we're really speculating is because there's that tension between Twilight right. and Right, yeah, exa you know? exactly. Like, Ted and Twyla and Alexis and Mutt may all end up single and happy. Yeah. You know, you never, you never really know. That would be interesting. I mean, it, when shows do that kind of thing, I mean, like you said previously, that is kind of tired, that whole trope. Yeah, completely. Like, like well, hot people have hot, to date hot each people other. have yeah. to date each other on, on, in television. Those are, that's like a rule. Yeah. Um, and but I don't think it has to be. The show's been unconventional thus far, so yeah, let's see what's going Absolutely. Um, for, for those of you, oh wait, hold up real quick. Mm -hmm. We do have four new patrons we'd like to thank uh, over we the sure weekend. Do. So, Agent Squirrels, Kevin M. Pitts, this was a tough one. Anaha Tumbacher. Tumbach. Tum, well, there's, there's an R in there. There's a mark in there. And uh, Tyler McKenzie, thank you. Sorry we butchered one of your names there, but thank you and uh, welcome. We really do appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Um, obviously, we do have a Patreon for those of you who are interested in following through reactions to this and the other content that we're watching. It's linked below, so please check us out there if you're so inclined. We would appreciate that. For those of you watching on YouTube, please subscribe, like, comment. We really do appreciate that. That is obviously very helpful for, for us as a as a group here yeah. uh, as, as we move forward. Um, we need you know, the interaction. Yeah. the, the uh, we First off, we love the comments. We do love the interaction, 100%. Uh, but obviously, it, it helps with terms of like channel growth and stuff like that, so we do appreciate it. Yes, please. For those of you watching on Patreon, we are 
Uh, oh, uh, one other thing, just remember, you uh, if you are going to join Patreon, you have to have your own copy of the show. Yep. Um, that's thrown some people who have gone on and expected it's to see the loop, entire yeah. vi- uh, us watching the entire show, which obviously would be a, a copyright violation, so can't you do can't it. do that. So you have to have your own copy to watch along with us. We're watching this on Hulu. Mm-hmm. So We do have the ads, too, so bear with us. Right. Yeah, we, cut, we, cut, yeah. we, cut, we cut the ads out on both. So. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. What's Saturday? It's your mother's birthday. No. Oh. Her birthday is the second weekend in May. That's uh, Mother's Day, honey. <laughs> I think so. Plus, I'm going to be in Chicago this weekend. You're what? Ted's taking me. We've been planning this for a super long time. So. Well, can I come? I would love to do a party at Roland's house. I would, too. Roland throws a pretty cool party, that little hawaiian theme party right. we had. Yeah. yeah, he did. Oh, that was yeah. actually, yeah. What if I told her that it was a fundraiser? She'd have to say yes, right? Yeah, yeah. She'd have to come. Totally, then, right? Totally, yeah. She loves the fundraisers. She loves them. I mean, you can't miss your own mother's surprise party. I'm with, I'm with Ted on this one. But be really, I really think that you need to be here for this. Me too. David. Oh my God. You and mom literally ruined my life. Thinking <laughs> <laughs> maybe Jocelyn is throwing her annual charity fundraiser. She hasn't mentioned anything to me about it. <laughs> well, yeah, this is, this is going to go over Roland's head. <laughs> It's not he's a real idiot. fundraiser. Right. <laughs> Ten fundraisers yeah, to look, get he's like, Moira he's out of the house. I'm taking Moira out for coffees. We're going up to the cafe, okay, this afternoon. And that would be a great time <laughs> for you to stop by and drop the information about the fundraiser. I just think it's awfully short notice to start planning a fundraiser. <laughs> no fundraiser. It's pretend. Pretend. It's fun time. I have a job that I can't just leave to drive you to Elmdale. Okay. Wow, she's being hard about this. It's a cake. But she is working. (laughs) My job, so I can't just up and leave because you want cake. It's a tort. Okay. There's. It's still awkward because of the sex thing. Yeah. I think. It's gonna drive away. Because other times she would have just gone. Sorry, I'm late, Jen. This is when does she care about her job? Right. No, I'm not inviting you. But I'm saying we're. We'll see each oh other there. God, at this is the very painful. big event that Jocelyn is hosting. The whole town will go to this event. They'll all be dressed up. And um, did I did I say that it's a fundraiser? Uh, sorry, Jenny. Let me... <laughs> oh my God! To me, you don't have to. Sure, it's uh, hard to look at those kids and all that. I, I get it. But you know what? We'll dress them <laughs> up too. More is like that. Four anyway. tickets. <laughs> really? Oh yes, it's the least we can do to support Jocelyn's philanthropic endeavors. Oh, okay. Good for uh, her. Sure. I think that went well. Okay. Oh my oh, god. You Roland. Suck. Okay. So I guess I'll see you soon then, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> Roland was mentioning your fundraiser earlier today and it got me thinking. My oh, wife? No. Oh, your no. annual no. fundraiser for the children with troubled mouths. <laughs> troubled mouths. All right. I was remiss not to gift you with my wealth of experience. Oh my wow, God. that's very generous of you, Does she know Moira. what's going on? I was going to ask you, I but I didn't so. want to impose. I cannot stand by and watch this woman drive a perfectly worthy cause into the ground. So, David, you and I, we're going to help her. All you've got to do is keep your mother under control. The North Korean army could not keep my mother under control. Like <laughs> <that planning. laughs> <laughs> What is yeah. the organization that is for? I, the, the doctors surgeon. who uncleft what? the mouths. Yeah, never heard of oh. it. Oh, I, I, get, I get to have a name. I don't think they're going to come. Oh my God, do you <laughs> people know what the word fundraising means? Why don't you leave that up to us? <laughs> Jocelyn, I need your time. She's taking control checks. of her own surprise birthday Jocelyn party. I love that. If we don't force Jocelyn to step down this moment, I don't know how we're going to pull off this. She's taking over her own party. Why don't you just sit this one out then? <laughs> Oh, my God. In three. Last warning. Last warning. Two. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) I think being on the second unit, just shooting random stuff in this town would be fun. I know. Lots of cool scenic scenic views. We are throwing a fundraiser that just so happens to be on the same night as your birthday. Must you rub it in? (laughs) <laughs> She's not getting it. A fundraiser isn't real. It's not a real thing. Oh. <laughs> yes, you were just awful You're at your own birthday planning. planning. Yes. A birthday thing that I'm not supposed to know about. And you were, but she's being so awful about it. They <laughs> have to tell her. Barn? <laughs> the barn? Oh, oh man, Moira. 
Moira, read the room. Look oh, steel. Glasses from the gas station. Oh my god. You oh, stole from glasses? Yeah. It's a gas station. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait for this. So shall we go in? I think we're fashionably late enough. There's nothing fashionable about this, but After <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. Well, surprise! What? There's no fundraiser? Uh. You're me? Oh my Never god. Never in the history of surprises has one been so delightfully blindsided. <laughs> Darling. So I need to apologize for my behavior earlier. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that this whole it's that lady time, friend, huh? No. friend oh, thing that lady is time. going to be a bit oh, tricky. God. Look at this. Two good-looking people that aren't going to date on a TV show. I really like that. <laughs> I know. They did have sex, though. They did have sex. But still. Right. <laughs> Roland. Oh, my God, Roland. He loves his wife. What can he say? He does love his wife. <laughs> Trying to slow down my wife. Slow yeah. down my wife over here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good for you, Moira. Yeah. Good for her. Man. Well, uh, I really like that. I did um, too. Um, we 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 got kind of a back step to see that everyone is still has a ways to go there. Yeah, I mean, like, of course they're gonna have a ways to go. It's like this is only season one, right? And also, it's gonna—I think this set up the last episode very well, right? Um, There's a lot of complications that are happening. There is here. something that's about to pop between Alexis and Mutt. I don't know. Alexis Mutt Ted needs to get worked out. I don't. I'm not sure. Are high, right? Yeah. I'm not sure David and Stevie are completely in a healthy place no. yet. They seem to be. I, I mean, they danced at the end. I don't know if they were There's still there. There's something lingering there for right. sure. Um, a co lots of conversations need to be had. Right. <laughs> let's, put it, let's put it that way. Moira, Moira's still kind of, you know, while she's wonderful, she's still kind of oblivious uh, <laughs> to, to, the, to the fact that the entire universe isn't really hers. And uh, I'm leaving. I mean it. Right, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, Alexis obviously is she's... still a little immature here. But yeah. I, 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 I think I, the last episode, I think, shows that she is a good person. She is a good person. She just needs I, to I agree realize with that, that right, you yeah. know? Yeah, I don't think she's thinking. Like, when, with her flirting with Mutt, and clearly she was interested in crossing some lines with Mutt in this episode, I don't think she's... She's casually talked before about cheating on boyfriends. So I don't I don't think... I don't think she's she's gotten to the point in her head yet where she yeah. realizes you shouldn't do that. She needs to get over the impulsiveness. She's very impulsive. Right. Yeah, completely. So. I, just, I just think that she's a really sweet girl that's still got some things to figure out. Yeah, and I, you know what? If she, can, if, if she does not break up with Ted, and she does not cheat on Ted with Mutt. I would like to see her and Ted continue. You know? Sure. They are different people, but I mean, he seems to be a nice guy. He blew off that conference to come back to her, even if it is just because he's jealous. I think it's just because he's jealous. I don't think it was because he wanted to be, okay. spend time with her. That's just me. He, after, he after, still... the, after that dinner party, I don't think it was Ted's being nice. I think yeah. it was Ted being, oh well, my he, gosh, you're going to be... great with the family. Yeah, yeah, no, he's great with the family, but she did, she did say in front of Ted that they wanted to use Mutt's barn for the party. Oh yeah, like yeah. You know, hey, right. David's yeah. like, hey, you, you, since you and Mutt work together on the, whatever their work release or whatever yeah. it is they're doing, <laughs> yeah. their community service. Yeah. He's like, you can just ask him if we can use his barn. It's right in front of Ted, so there's no way Ted was going to leave um, with that going. I, yeah, I right. don't think it was Ted being nice. I think it was Ted being insecure. He was really spazzing out about it too at the dinner party. Yeah, he was. What'd you and Mutt talk about? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. What do you guys talk about? So yeah, I really think he's jealous of Mutt, and I think that's what's going on. But, I mean, we'll see. I could be wrong. Ted is obviously otherwise a really nice guy, but yeah. he's definitely got some insecurities as far as his relationship status with Alexis. It's never a good thing in a relationship with right. insecurities. So. But, you know, we got one more. We got the finale, and I'm kind of eager, eager to see what happens here because as there's stuff to work out. Oh, yeah. Um, and we'll see uh, on that one. It's still a hilarious episode. still a great <laughs> show. Moira taking over the planning of her own surprise birthday party is just... That might be the most... That's inspired writing. That is just great writing. Um, and we will uh, catch the finale next time. Alrighty, guys. Take care, and we will see you in the next one.